Good morning, it is Saturday, and well, I am in my kitchen, and you probably can guess what I'm going to be doing. Yeah. Peaches, peaches, and more pe peaches. I didn't finish them last night because I was too busy trying to get everything else done. The kitchen did not get clean last night. I got as far as I could, but what time did we go to bed? Two? Two o'clock. Two o'clock we went to bed. Craziness, absolute craziness. Our still needs to go back to work, but he's going to help me get the peaches done so we can at least have those situated for the weekend and Monday's probably a new day and we're gonna have to do a whole nother batch again on Monday but really really feeling very blessed by having all of these peaches because we've gone what four years art yeah three years with no peaches with no peaches and well, we got one peach and, and we shared years. yeah and we shared it with a squirrel that was very good <laughs> okay ten all right I'm gonna get sounds. cooking I'll try to pick up the camera and show you guys a little bit later how we're doing we're gonna pull out our big huge cutting board we only use this when we have a whole bunch of stuff to do we're getting started first of all you put them in boiling water for a little while and then you can peel the skins off Charity and Peter are peeling the peaches and that's a job they love doing I guess it's therapeutic uh, taking the skins off of peaches it's nice when they come off easy, but when they don't, they come off here. I can hear them sizzling. More peaches. Peaches, peaches, and more peaches. And one of our viewers mentioned that they save the peach peels and the pits, and they can make uh, peach jelly out of them, so we're going to try that. These peaches are ready to go, so I'm going to start cutting right now. Daddy does the cutting. <laughs> they're a little hard to cut because they're so slippery when they're wet, but... It can still be done. Daddy is cutting the peaches and he's putting them into a bowl with lemon juice and water. And why do we do that? Uh, to keep them from browning. Right. And over here we have Cherry and Peter killing peaches. And mommy is dipping the peaches in hot water over here. That's right. and just watching the whole crowd. Having a little problem. These peaches are not peeling well because they weren't quite ripe, so we are going to go to plan B. These ones are good here, but we don't have our eight quarts yet. It's probably only about four quarts. So we're going to plan B, and Janelle is looking for a recipe for something we can do with the peaches. I think we're going to do peach sauce. Like, um, or no, peach, peach butter. And so it's it, like, you know, apple butter, but it's peach butter. And we're going to take the peaches and we're going to cook them down, put them through the full weight food mill, <clears throat> and then just make yummy um, peach butter. And we can can it if we want so we don't, so we're not wasting all of the work that we've done. But the fact is, the peaches are not be peelable. Um, they were picked a little bit too early, and I don't want to waste them since they've already been boiled. So... Plan B. What we're doing with the peach butter is quartering the ones, the unripe ones that still have the skins on them, and just putting them in the pot and we're going to boil those. Out of all those peaches, we end up with only three quarts. Sometimes it just doesn't work out like you'd hope. But you know what? Things happen and you learn along the way. And note to self, don't do unripe peaches. But we may be able to salvage it with our peach butter. We'll see how that turns out. We have quite a bit of peaches for that. We're going to can our three jars that we had. Charity got some basil out of the garden, and Janelle is using her pestle, mortar and pestle. So this to, is Charity's idea. Yeah, Charity thought of it. Oh, so. some garlic in there. You might have to mush it up. I'm not sure. Worst comes to worst, you just get rid of it if you don't like it. I think that it chopped up the basil pretty and garlic pretty well. That's basil? Some people are going to get really basil-y Mm-hmm. <laughs> Other people won't get any. Well, that's how you learn. Try it and learn. And now Janelle's grinding up the peaches. How's it going? It seems criminal to do this with delicious peaches, I but know. Well, it is what it is. Can I do it? For lunch today, we're having pizza that Charity made and uh, peaches, cucumbers, and melon. It's later in the day and I'm back from work and we have some more peaches going. Earlier today, Janelle made her peach butter and there it is. I think it'll be good. When your peaches are ripe, you kind of have to act quickly because they don't last that long. They rot quickly, so you, when they're ripe, you have to move. So that's what we're doing right now. This time I learned my lesson though, and we're only doing the ripe ones, so they're peeling a lot easier. 